for one of my videos. This one is on the distributed property and it is based off of Prodigy um, sixth grade standards for the distributed property. Um, as we look at the distributed property, I noticed that some of you were struggling with using the distributed property on this one. Now, I have it right here on Prodigy. It gives you the, um, it says use the distributed property to write an equivalent expression. And it gives you the expression here. And then it gives you a pull down. Now, I didn't want to copy their problems, so I kind of made this. And in the pull down in the first one, it'll give you numbers to choose from. Numbers will have either numbers or variables, sometimes both. Then the middle one will give you either the negative or plus sign to put in there, and then number options or sometimes variables, depending on what these have here. Um, so these are just representing the pull down options that you will have. Um, but let's take a look at the distributed property. When we have the distributed property, we have approached it with either using the area model or um, looking at it with the using the distributed property. Let's see you go with the area model though. Remember when, when we first started approaching these, we went with the area model and looked at this as we're trying to multiply these together. So we have three times x plus four. And we look at this as length times width, and we're going to find the area of this by finding the area of each one of these boxes here. So we end up with 3 times x, find the area of this one would be 3x, and then to find the area of this other box would be 3 times 4, which would be 12. And then what you would do, these are just added together, so this expression is equal to 3x plus 12, okay? And then you would just look for those in the pull-down menu. We have our 3x here, so that's what you click on the pull-down menu. We have the plus here, and we have the 12 here. So that's what you're going to be doing on these in Prodigy. So again, we use our distributive property to figure out what this expression is equal to that expression, and that's using our distributive property. Let's take a look at another one here. So on this one again, so let's start with using our area model to multiply these together. So we end up with 50 and we have our area model here. And we end up with 3n. In this case, it's a minus six, so we just need to remember we're going to have a minus in there. So 50 times 3n, so we know 5 times 3 is 15, so that means 50 times 3n is going to be 150n, and five, 50 times 6, we know 5 times 6 is 30, so that's just going to be 300, okay? So that tells us that this is equal to 150 n minus, in this case, we just, same symbol that's here is what's going to be in there. So minus 300, okay? So again, we just look for those in our pull down menus and we would have 150 n there minus um, 300. Okay, so again, these boxes are just representing your choices you would have in those pull-down menus. Okay, so let me try one more example here. So in this one, notice this one's a little bit different because you have variables in each one, but we still approach it the same way. Now, you don't necessarily have to use your area model. We did talk about doing this Another way um, where we just kind of think through it, where you remember our area model, we just multiply each thing. So we take 7 times 2n, and that would give us 14n, and then 7 times 3z, and that would give us, we're going to add to that, remember the same symbol that's in there is the same symbol we use here, 
7 times 3z would give us 21z. So we end up using, I like to draw this in there to make sure I'm not missing something. So we multiply the 7 by everything that's inside. We often call this the rainbow. I've heard students call this the rainbow approach. You can use the area approach or this to multiply these together. Um, we've talked about this in class before, but that's another way you can multiply these together. So then we use, there's our 14, and in this case it's the plus, and then we have our 21Z is what we would select from our pull-down menu. Okay, good luck. Hopefully this will help you get these correct on the Prodigy. I noticed that a few of you have struggled again. Um, I might re-sign that um, particular problems and let you try these again. Good luck. Thanks. Bye.